Hi guys, my name is Pandan Kapil and in this video I am going to tell you about how you can plan and shoot the Milky Way. In order to shoot the Milky Way, you need main, mainly you need two things. A sturdy tripod and of course a camera. Any camera that allows you to take full manual control over it will do. In, the, in my case, I will be shooting with a Nikon D3300 with 18-55mm to kit lens. So now talking about the camera settings, you need to set your aperture as low as possible. So in my case, I'll be setting my aperture to f3.5 as it is the minimum that it can go. Set your ISO according to the light conditions. I would rather tell you not to go too high on the ISO side because it will introduce a lot of noise in your images. Um, there is a rule called the 500 rule which allows you to set your shutter speed for the astrophotograph, astro shots. As we all know that the stars move on the sky. So if you keep your shutter open for too long, it will introduce trails and it will never look good in the image. So according to the 500 rule, if you have an APS-C sensor, it has a crop factor. 1.5 for Nikons and 1.6 for Canons. So what you need to do, take your focal length, multiply it with the crop factor if APS-C or if it's a full frame, simply take the crop factor, uh, simply take your focal length and divide that by 500. So, so now planning is the key in shooting the Milky Way and getting the great shots. The Milky Way spore is nicely visible in the northern hemisphere in around May to, uh, to August. In this period, the Milky Way is smoshing out in the sky, night sky, but there are many problems. So you need to plan this. As we all know that we cannot shoot the Milky Way and we cannot even see the stars properly in the light polluted areas. So in order to get a location where the light pollution is very less, there is a website called the Dark Side Finder and an app called Stellarium to monitor the position of the Milky Way in the night sky. These are very good. So let's move on and see how you can use these apps. Hi guys. So now in order to shoot the Milky Way, you need to look through a website called the Dark Side Finder. It's a great website as it has the whole world map and its light pollutions. The best they have marked as different light polluted areas in here. As you, you can see here there is a light pollution map. You go to your area, see for light pollution. You cannot shoot Milky Way in these areas where it's colored as yellow green and dark blue best areas to shoot milky ways are these pitch black regions or these regions these regions have absolutely no light pollution as these white regions have a little bleeding light pollution from the nearby city so now after you select the location you need to go to another app called the Stellarium it's the most efficient and a great application for us photographers and astronomers as you can see it's a great app you can move time in here and see the location of the Milky Way plus it gives you the time date and everything you need to know before shooting you go in here we go to today's time as you can see it's it's now November so the core of the Milky Way will not come out in this season but it will come out from May to August and it will be very good to shoot at that time you can see it gives you a brief overview like, like a time lapse and it gives you all the information about everything you search for moon 
will give you everything so I will recommend you to go to this app and have a look before you shoot with directions it has a hell lot of options you guys can easily find this app on the Google Play Store it's not a very big app of around 19 MB very good app I'll definitely recommend you to download this app well many people say that moon also plays an important part in shooting the mercury yes it does but we, you don't need to monitor moon as you can see the moon in the night sky but still there is an app called lunar phase for us photographers where you can go and check the moon out and check its position and moon set time moon rise time i would recommend you to shoot the milky way from first quarter of the moon to no moon anything more than that will not be good to shoot the milky way and guys one more important thing that i forgot to tell you you need to shoot in raw why raw because you will get a lot of options to reduce noise to change the white balance and many things in post processing as we all know that jpeg is a compressed format and it's not good for post processing so i recommend you go for raw so here are some images that i have taken with the nikon d3300 and it and it's kit lens i hope you like it please do let me know in the comment section below if you have any doubts queries feel free to ask thank you here i have my d3300 as you can see turn it on i have the settings right here at 18 mm f3.5 20 seconds set your white balance to daylight so that you get a bluish tint shoot in raw go to focusing system set your focus to manual focus as your camera needs some contrast to focus and auto focus won't work I have set my shutter speed to 20 seconds by 500 rule I got shutter speed around 18.5 seconds which you cannot set sadly so I'll start off with 20 and then try 50 now to focus on the stars as you can see there is no ring here and it has no stops so you go to your live view find the any distant object or bright star zoom it digitally focus with your focusing ring and then lock it or mark it and you are good to go